G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18, where I'm back to continue the Fists Only Challenge, and we're coming into day 33, and I've got a lot of things planned for today, I'm not sure how to feel, uh, fit all of it into one episode, but we'll see how I go, but there are two major things that I want to do, the first one is fill up this hole I have in the side of my base, and by extension, all the other windows that I have in this building, they're all boarded up, and they're all not letting any light in, which is kind of nice during the night time because no zombies can peek in but with the zombie proof wall on the outside that isn't super important so i need to figure out what i'm doing with my base i need to sort out my windows and fill up this big gap the other thing that i need to do is i need to head out back to the southern town quickly probably punch out this quest here trade it into whatever uh, uh traded potato has given me that quest and get a new reward i need to get one more piece of steel armor pass for myself a full outfit of a steel suit of armor which would be lovely for the horde that's coming up. So I need to do all of that and probably at some point head off to old Trader Potato out here and return the quest and get my rewards out of that. So I guess that's three things that I have to do, but basically two major objectives. Uh, the first thing I need to do to start on my quest of objectives is go out to my little garage out here where I've been a busy little beaver smelting away and getting myself some glass blocks. In fact, all the lead and all the glass has been smelted in there now. So I need to refill it with a different item. Uh, there's some more iron and let's, let's get the brass going. Why not? Let's put some brass into the forge. I don't need to make myself any ammo, but I can probably just put it in there anyway. The sun is rising on the horizon over there, so I'm into my daytime hours now, which I never like to waste. I'm not really sure how this is going to look or how I actually want it to be. Also, why are they dirty? These are freshly crafted panes of glass. How are they already spattered with blood and dirt and mud and whatever else is going on? Oh, I mean, I, I kind of, that kind of annoys me. I understand that it'd be a whole other set of, like, items for them to make. But if I just crafted this, surely it would be nice and clean. Ah, uh, whatever. You can't have everything, apparently. All right, so... Uh, I probably should have put them all there, actually. Where's the doorway going to be? I can't have the doorway directly behind the couch. That makes no sense at all. Uh, well, let's make it all symmetrical and put this over the other side as well. I might need to admit... In fact, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just break these. This is where the doorway needs to be. Okay, good. I'm glad it takes me three attempts to break these ones down as well. This needs to be a doorway or else there's no way for me to get in and out. And then the whole entertaining area is completely separated from where people will actually be. Ah, uh, that's going to be even more annoying. I can't put a door here because the door's going oh I forgot to, why can't there be a centered door why does everything have to be so difficult if i put the windows in the center why can't i put the door in the center well that's really you know what maybe i'll just leave it open you know it's a it's a nice kind of like breezeway we're getting some nice fresh air the smell of the rotting corpses that populate this label we're getting that blown into our house because we can't put a door there sure whatever whatever don't even care let's just keep on going around and replacing all of these ugly wood blocks with some windows let's get some light in here let's enjoy the scenes let's look out on the tenements next door and just see the zombies coming for a change rather than relying on our ears we can use our eyeballs i probably don't need these signs anymore but most of because they're in front of a window, which I kind of hate, but also because they have the bloody signs painted on the boxes. I'm sure I can figure it out. Plus, I like having the windows in here. It looks so much nicer having actual windows in here for a change rather than just boarding up all the walls. All right, that's definitely a good decision. Let's go get some more glass blocks on the craft in the forge out here so we can replace the rest of these boarded up windows with some glass panes as well. This is good. I like this. I like that I'm making my house a little bit nicer to live in. You know, rather than just living in a hole underground, let's actually enjoy our life. Let's live rather than just survive. I wish I could make, like, actual doors like this. Rather than just this hodgepodge bullshit that I can make here, I wish I could make, like, actual doors and make it all look kind of nice. If I go through and make other things, like, there should be, like, I mean, the table saw, for example, is completely redundant. There's only one thing you need it for, which is the wedge tips. But other than that, the table saw is useless. I feel like if you get a table saw, in fact, I have, I found the recipe for a table saw. How can I make a table saw? I feel like if you make yourself a table saw, you should be able to make, like, clean, modern, nice stuff. Not just, like, the apocalyptic stuff. You had to actually make proper, like, uh, uh, appealing aesthetic units as well. Uh, forged light mechanical parts, electrical parts, I can probably make one of those right off the bat. Uh, forged light, I should have some more out in the forge outside. What else did I need? Mechanical parts, uh, electrical parts and springs. Mechanical parts, uh, electrical parts, I know there's, there's some, sp oh, no, I don't have many springs at all anymore. Where did all my springs go? I know I used them for something, I didn't think I used that many though. My tier 5 steel gloves are done, let's grab those, let's go wear those and modify these to pull all of that stuff out of there, just like that, thank you 
you very much. Oh, it's good. It's good having an upgrade. Every time I get a little bit of an upgrade, I get a little bit more excited. Bang you guys back onto there. Complete that. I've got an extra mod slot to bang something into. I don't know if I have any more armor mods that I need. I, if I find one, I guess I'll just bang it in. But that's a good... In fact, oh, wait. Wait, I was going to sell them, but I can scrap that. And that's going to give me three more armor parts. I only needed one more to make the next level of uh, chest armor as well. I can fully outfit myself today. One of my quests is already done. It's 10 to 7 in the morning, and I've accidentally stumbled into doing something good. I love it when I accidentally do the right thing. It's great. It is the steel chest armor I think I need. Let's just quickly double check. Steel helmet, iron chest armor, steel gloves, steel leg armor, steel boots. Okay, it's definitely the chest armor that I needed. Get okay, you, craft one of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe we finally got that done completely by accident. I've been aiming for so many other things that I completely forgot that I also need to be focusing on making myself my um my armor as well. I need to make myself some forged iron. How many can I make out of you? How many do I actually need for the table saw? Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to open up anything for me, but it's the one construction table I don't have. I need another 20 forged iron. I can do that. Give me 20 of those. Thank you very much. All right, things are really cooking along with gasoline now. We're really starting to get some things done. Still need two springs, though. And I have no, 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 no one of them. That was really, I don't know why I had so much difficulty saying none there for a second. I have none there. So let's go find ourselves a car, I suppose, or a bed. I have a bed inside, although with the table saw, I know I can make myself another bed. So I can get rid of my bedroll and just use the actual bed itself. So let's take you. Uh, let's get the springs out of you. Take your part. It's all for the greater good. The greater good. I promise I'll build a new one for myself later. I have my own bed rather than sleeping in someone else's. That'd be gross. Get the table saw on the go. My chest armor is now done. Quickly swap you out and take all the mods out of you and go and put all that into my new one. Modified now. It's the same tier, but it should, in fact, before I do that what's kind of difference we're we looking at here we've got 13 uh or i've currently got 15 on my steel so that's a good time definitely a good option for me all of you go to there and i think that should be just about good yes it is all right we are rocking and rolling hey look at now 16 so definitely better all around than that one look at all the blue look at all the blue we've got going on here we are now fully outfitted i know it doesn't look like i'm wearing a steel helmet i've got my cowboy mod on there but that's that's really good i'm feeling more confident about that coming into the horde night soon uh in fact before i forget to do that let's quickly Go. Oh, you're already crafting. Good. Let's get myself some more windows going. Because aside from all of this, I still have my house to take care of. 17 more windows, please. Look at that. I've, I've opened up all of the gaps and it's already starting to look a bit nicer. I think these ones upstairs are the last ones. We'll quickly bang you in there and there. It's going to be just enough. I love it when I accidentally do the right thing once again. Look at my farm up here. Everything's kicking along nicely. But now the whole place has its windows in its frames. And it looks so much nicer. Look, I've got windows over there. I've got windows in the bathroom. I've also got a nice window to look out of of my desk over here so when I'm studying away and all the lovely books that I have I can see the back entrance. I can also see it when I'm washing up the dishes after dinner too or you can kind of see it. There's all sorts of smuck all over the window but whatever. We'll uh we'll do, maybe we'll get out there with a sponge one day. That's the thing. Maybe I should be able to go around. There should be a sponge item to go over to things like that and clean it off. Just you know make it a little bit nicer just to make it so I can see through it as like an actual window would. What have I got? I've still got that on the go as well. Let's keep the sand going. All right, I think that's about as much as I can do in my base for today. I'm not sure what else there would be to do here. I mean, I did everything I set out to do. I cleaned up my entertaining area, got all the windows done, I got my armor. I think we're pretty much good. I will just clear off this table here because a table saw needs to go on a table. It's not a floor saw, it's a table saw. While we're here, we might as well clear up the rest of this as well. Get some more uh, polymers or whatever it is out of that one. There we go, that's done. Have a look in here, you're almost done. Got a spot ready and waiting for you, mate. Just waiting for you to be finished, get the black nice and sharpened, put into your housing, always have protection there as well, and then we'll be ready to saw some shit and never ever use it. We're building it just for the sake of building it. We're definitely not going to make anything out of it. While I'm waiting, I'm going to do what I normally do with the force fields and paint it red. I just like having the force field as a red color. It stands out a bit more to me, and it makes me know that I am actually protected from the zombie hordes when they come cruising through. All the force fields I've ever built in Shibuta Park have always been red, so this one is going to be no exception. It just takes so much longer. Like, it takes longer for the game to register that I'm clicking with the regular paintbrush. It's like, are you sure? Are you really sure? I know you've been mashing the, the button on your mouse for like 15,000 times, but are you really sure you want to paint something? I'm like, yes, dude. Just freaking paint the shit for me, for goodness sake. Well, there we go. There we go. It's a, a nice standardized force field now. How are we looking in here? You should be almost done. You are immediately done. There we go. That's good. Uh, you didn't go where I wanted you to go. Grab you and put you, boom, right there. Okay. What do you actually give me 
See, this is what I mean. The table saw is completely redundant. The only, it'd be worth it if you could make yourself some nice, uh, like clean, aesthetically pleasing stuff. But like, look, you make one of these so you can get yourself some wood wedge tips. Ooh wee, whoop de doo. That is not what you want it for. You want to actually like, have something worthwhile out of that thing, and nothing in there is worth it. All right, I think we're pretty good. I'll take my wrench on this adventure just in case I find something out there that I do want to break apart. Uh, close the doors before I leave. It's all very bright in here now, but look at it. Look at all the nice, lovely windows. It feels so much more homely when you can actually see outside for a change rather than being locked in with no idea what's happening outside your doors. All right, close the door behind me. Even though there's no doors on the patio out there, still gonna make sure our home security is all nice and matched up. Don't want any zombies cruising in and taking up squatters' rights while I'm out and about on the town. All right, let's... Wait, what's actually in my motorcycle right now? Do I have anything stashed away? I do not, just a lot of gas. That's fine. Let's head down to the southern town. Let's quickly go punch out that quest. See Trady Potato and hopefully get a buried treasure quest. I still want diamonds. I want to make myself my diamond tips. Going into the Horde Knot, I feel like it's going to be a really good thing for me to have. I might even go the long way, actually. I might go hit up this drop and then go do that quick little quest out with all the... Uh, was it Nurse Nancy's I have to murder, I think? I'll go do those ones because I'm relatively nearby. I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve because I did everything so much quicker this morning than I was expecting to. So I can go out there, knock those ones out real fast, and get extra rewards when I go here trady potato. Sometimes you just got to go through the extra little effort. You know, get a little bit out of your way just to get that extra little sprinkle of fuck yeah on your donuts in the morning. There's the supply box. Quickly bang on my goggles. All right, what have you got for me in here? We have... Steel Knuckles schematic, I'd be really good at any other day. Oh, imagine if they were tier 6 uh, Steel Knuckles. Why couldn't you give me the bloody schematic for Iron Knuckles and give me tier 6 Steels? Oh, that's really upsetting. Well, I'll take you. Uh, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. I mean, that's actually relatively useful. It's better than sending me freaking cat and dog food for my zero pets you allow me to have. So I'm actually not too upset about that. There's a rabbit running by me just there. Uh, let's get rid of that drop marker and head on out to punch a couple of Nancy's in the face. Man, tier six knuckles will be the dream though. An extra mod slot again will allow me to put whatever I want on there. I mean, even though the damage will be basically the same, just having like the pinnacle of knuckle goodness is all I want for this. Here we go. Nurse you back to health. Kill some zombie nurses. I can do that. Oh, Nancy, please come and find me. I am ready and waiting. I'll bang on the nerdy glasses. There we go. Spawn a couple of them in. They sound much closer than they actually are. How you doing? No one's gonna bother with the power strikes. I mean, you are worth it, but in this case, we'll make sure I've got enough of me to spread me all around. I mean, th th this would be enough, Josh, to satisfy all of the Nancys here. I don't want to blow my load too early on one of them. And then when the last one on the line is like, you got any more for me? I'm just all floppy and flaccid and got nothing more to give her. Ah, uh, damn it, missed it. There we go. Got her right in the face. They all copped it right in the chin like good girls. Is that all of them? Oh, no, there's one up on the hill. So she was hanging out in the corner. That's all right. This is an all-inclusive orgy. Come and join the fun. Cop my fists like all of your best friends did. Right in the titties. Coming into town a slightly different way to the way I normally do it, but I have done both these POIs before, so I don't need to go on the cheeky little raid before I reset the POI. Uh, let's park out the front like a good little boy. Not in the garage, though. That's a good way to get your motorcycle lost. Uh, what actually is it, this quest? It's a uh, retrieve the supplies. It's just a fetch. Let's make sure of that before I ruin it. Retrieve the supplies. Stay within. Okay, so I don't need to clear it all. I just need to find it all, which is going to be up in the top. That's fine, though. I'm going to go straight into the garage. So all I'm going to do here today is just grab the, the, the satchel that I need, get all the good loot, and then GTFO. I ain't fucking around with no clear quest. I don't care about murdering all the zombies. I just want them all to die anyway. Get down here and find me like the zombified fuck you are. There you go. Come outside. There we go. There we go. Go. Good boy, ran straight into my corkscrew and now popped out your eye with a really satisfying sound. What have you got for me? Iron boots and more knuckles. Stop giving me iron knuckles. Give me some more steel knuckles. That's what I really want. Uh, what I really, really want is a Ziggy Zig R or some steel knuckles. Either way, I don't particularly mind. Nothing particularly good in the loot upstairs, but I am on the right level for the rest of the quest. I might even just take a shortcut and go up, oh, across to there, and across to there. Kind of like, oh, shit, the game lagged out. I went through the wall. That's okay. Can I just like take a shortcut up into here and potentially find the, the satchel a little bit faster? Because that would be nice if I could. Jump back up here like I did before. In we go. All right, what up, everybody? How you doing? Please come upstairs and join me for some fun. I know you guys heard the little ruckus in the garage, but I promise you can join in too. I feel like it's going to be behind the painting. No, it's something else. Oh. Oh, I hear. Oh, how you doing, buddy? Oh, shit. I didn't quite get him with the power stroke. Come on. Easy does it. There we go. So if you don't panic too badly, it's usually okay. The sound of the spider zombie is usually so much worse than the actual jumpy bite. A stone spear. Sweet. Thanks for that. I was just thinking, oh, man, I wish I could have find something that I can't use. That'd be great right now. How you doing, mate? Quick run over. 
No, don't even, don't even start with me. Don't even start. I've got Muppets coming up my asshole right now. You need to just die in front of me like a good little boy and stay away from the rest of me. Oh, there's the spider zombie. Ow, he reached through the door and he got me. I was just thinking to myself, I wish I could punch through this gigantic gaping opening and reach inside and mess up that zombie spider. But instead, no, he could do that to me, not the other way around. Uh, it's right on top of me somewhere. Where are you going to be? You in... Ooh... You're in the loot room. Okay, I'm all right with that. We're in the right goggles. Yes, I am. Take that. What's in the cardboard box? Four feathers. Cool. Thanks for nothing. Weapons bag. Oh, that's some sex delicious goodness. A tier six M60 that I can't use. That's heartbreaking. That's that's like the best weapon in the game right there. That is the dream of every survivor. A pristine, like commercially made uh, machine gun. And I can't use it. That's heartbreaking. It's worth so many dollar redos. That is one that I will save just to mod up. I might even sell it, you know? That's why I want weapon mounts or something. Something to decorate the house with back home. If I could mount that shit on my wall, I absolutely would. That was nice and quick. We are done here. I can't remember if I actually ever... I think I did raid this cemetery. There's two different types of cemeteries now. There's one with like to be crypt underneath, which I haven't seen in this playthrough, I don't think. But there's also the one that has like little mausoleums on the sides of the little crypts, I suppose, that you can also go to. So let's head off to Trady Potati on the outskirts of this town. Having the motorcycle is so much better. It's so much faster and so much easier to get everywhere. You can do so much more with your day when you're not spending, spending all of your time wrangling up your spaghetti legs to try and push the pedal is wherever you need to go. Uh, let's head our way out there, turn in all of these quests, or two of them at least, and hopefully get something good out of this. I really hope I do. I hate it when you go off and you do the quests and then the trader gives you nothing. It's like, cool, man. Thanks for my 40 feathers. I really needed that for the bow I don't use. I'm a simple man, Jeff. I don't ask for much, but what I do ask for is oh, a book I haven't read would be nice. HP ammo is worth quite a bit, but nothing particularly good. That's some shithouse loot, dude. See what I mean? Like, you do all of that, and he gives you donuts. All right, cool. Well, do you have any buried tr oh, buried supplies? That is what I needed. They're looking for diamonds. I will take that one. Thank you very much. And I will... Do I have to sell any of this, too? I'll sell that stupid ammo you just gave me, because I don't want it. Uh, I'll sell the rest of this as well, because why not? Don't particularly care about that too much. So much level 6 stuff is coming into me now. I'm starting to get some real good gubbins, but none of it's good for me. The buried treasure quest is out in the mountains, which isn't great, but, I mean, it might take me a little bit to get there. If I press the right buttons, it might go a little bit faster even. I'm just gonna go, I have to go cross country on the motorcycle. It's alright, I don't have the Jeep. The Jeep is awful for going uh, cross country with, but the motorcycle is usually pretty okay if you just pick and choose your lines a little bit better than I just did then. You pick anything that's relatively smooth, and you can usually drive straight up it. You just gotta see it in the distance and hope you get enough speed to get up whatever hill you come across. It's gonna be up this gigantic cliff, isn't it? Oh, actually, this cliff all around here, I could probably get through back the way I came. I chose a little uh, a gap through the rocks, and it turns out it led me to a nice little valley, but not the valley that I needed, which is uh, kind of pathfinding our way through whatever we can. Let's go back down through these rocks down here. Yep, there we go. Back around this way. All right, just keep on looking. Wherever there's a nice little slope we can get up, we'll do it. We've got plenty of gas. We're going We're going dirt biking on a roadhog. That's how freaking ridiculous we're being in the apocalypse. <gasps> that would be a great vehicle, actually. Imagine if you could make like an actual dirt bike rather than a road bike, like something that actually go cross country. It's not as fast on the roads, but it's faster off road. That would be really freaking cool. That slope looks a little bit too normal for me to actually get up there. So let's grab my bike and just go the old spaghetti way. Up, 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 up. Oh, we still have to use our legs occasionally. Just not nearly as much as we used to. Where are we now? I can't see because I'm still disappeared on my own freaking map, which is always fun. But it's on the other side of this bluff, I think. So if I turn left, go around like that, I should hopefully find. I'm not going to bother getting back on the motorcycle just yet because look at the ground I have to drive on. This is uh, this is some serious terrain I have to cross right now. In fact, let's just go, let's just go the most direct way. Let's go up like this. Up, up, up. There we go. Oh, look at me like a spring walk, like a mountain goat up the rocky face. You can't stop a man when he's cooked his boiled noodles. I'm coming up to it just up here. And I just noticed that that looks like the valley I was heading down before. Uh, it, oh, it was. I had it kept going down that valley. I was just there a second ago. I was talking about the big cliff. Could have come down in some open air and come back up the other way. That's a little bit annoying. But whatever. At least now we'll learn our lesson. We went, the, we went the shortcut way. Wasn't the easy way, but it still was a shortcut. It was less distance traveled, but maybe not the less uh, time. All right, let's go here. Oh, at least my icon doesn't cover up the thing anymore. Quick waypoint right on the edge. Where's my thingo? There it is. Wait till it flops. Yep, right about there. It should be just underneath me. Get the old trusty shovel. Let's not waste any time with this. Let's get in, get out, and hopefully find myself some diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds? Are the diamonds? Oh, yep, there it is. Diamonds down here. Diamonds in here. 
Oh, no diamonds. No diamonds for Joshy. And now I've got myself stuck in a freaking hole. Get out of here quick before the zombies show up. I may as well follow this valley to the northeast because there's also a drop up here I haven't got before. I feel like there might be some stuff down there. Like, this is the thing. I'm going exploring in brand new terrain. And it's always exciting because you never know what you might find out here. Let's bang the motorcycle down. Let's keep on going on our journey. I'm excited. You know, I might stumble across something really cool. You never know. This is like, this would be a great spot for like a randomly generated mine shaft. Like, imagine that. Like, if you cruise along and you randomly stumble across a mine shaft. That would be freaking awesome. I know there's a mine in Narvis game. There isn't any such thing in a uh, random gen. But that would be a great thing to have. Oh, come on, birdie. Come on, birdie. I see you, birdie. Oh! Oh, goodbye, birdie. That'd be a great thing to have, just like randomly spy popping up here and there in the wilderness. Should be just in this undergrowth here somewhere. I'm right next to it. Oh, there it is, just on the other side of this thing. Let's get us some sweet air up. Oh, yes. Can't do a backflip, as we know. But if that was ever going to do it, that would have been the moment. All right, we're wearing the right goggles. I'm not. Bang you onto there. What have you got for me? Motorcycle handlebar schematic. Already read it. Some cat or some dog food. Although I do actually have, I'll take all of that. I do have the uh, the recipe for the learning elixir. Grandpa's learning elixir. I read that at one point. Can of dog food, red tea, bottle acid, and a froth. I can probably, I have most of that stuff back home. I could definitely make that with no real issues. All right, cool. I'll actually save, for the first time ever, I will save the dog food. I have no dog to feed it to, so I'll feed it to me. The ground up there looks a little bit flatter. I'm hoping that's going to be a road. If it's not, oh, oh, there's another supply drop out here. I didn't even, I didn't even have that one marked on my map. Okay, that's pretty good for me. Is it a road up here? No, it wasn't. I was hoping it was going to be. Ooh, there's a road over there in the cliffs. So that's a good sign. It's going to lead me back to civilization. Still got the right goggles on. Yes, I do. What have you got for me? Some more dog food and some more other random assorted junk. All right, no one's sending me any decent corkscrews, which is a shame. I want to shut into my fist and pop out some zombie eye sockets. But that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. And I'm just happy to have what I have at this point. Let's go to this road over here and see if it can hopefully take me back to where I came from. Up, 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 up. Yes, motorcycle. What a gem this thing is. Look at this road. Look at that. They've carved it out like out of cliffs. It must lead somewhere cool. I don't even care if it does anymore. The road itself is a cool thing. This is like the epitome of the journey being the adventure, not the destination. All right. I want to see what's at the end of this thing now. Maybe it's on the trade potato. Maybe it might pay off. Or maybe it'll just be like a, I don't know, like a blueberry farm. Although a blueberry farm would still be pretty good for me. I like to make my yucca smoothies, which needs my blueberries. Let's see what's at the end. I've got plenty of gas. Let's just go for a road trip. Oh. All right. Let's not go for a road trip then. It ended very abruptly. All right. Cool. Never mind then. That's such a cool little secret road. Like, that leads down to that little uh, metalworks place down there, which is like in a little hollow, nice and secret. It's like a bandit cave, like a bandit hideout in the Old West. You go be the hole in the wall gang, or you could be like the, the metalworks hollow gang. And the road to get there is super cool. That's a place I'd love to build a base if you didn't need a vehicle to get in and out of it. You can't really build it there when you're on your feet. And by the time you have a motorcycle, you probably already have a well-established base. But it'd be such a cool place to go and lay low from the law. If there was law in this game, like other than the cops, like bandits and stuff like tracked it down that would be a really cool play have like choke points and stuff man i was just sort of thinking of things i want to add to this game because at some point someone might listen to me and i'll make the game way too complicated i may pretend like i know what i'm talking about i absolutely don't there he is. There's old matey Potaty. I came all the way out of here just to turn in that quest. Because I figure, like, I've got the uh, the fetch stuff. I've got the, the satchel contents on me. And I can't get rid of it. So I may as well, if I've got the time, come all the way back out here and turn it in. Because then I'm not just, like, lugging around all this nonsense for no reason. I can actually get some rewards for it. Let's quickly bang on my XP glasses. Because that doesn't really change anything. What have you got for me? Hunting rifle. Another book I've already read. Uh, I mean, that doesn't really help me. Reload 30% faster. I don't have to reload ever. So let's take... God, that's all. This is worthless uh, crap, isn't it? All right, let's take that one. That's the closest thing I've got to being worth anything. Tier 5 clear zombies. Tier 5 fetch. Tier 5 fetch and clear. Well, that's going to be the worth the most. That's like a whole day's adventure right there. All right, let's take that one. Sure, why not? And let's quickly, quickly sell all the stuff I just got from you because I don't need a hunting rifle. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, the day is pretty much done. So let's start heading back to home. What, is there a quick... Oh, I can head past and grab a drop on the way, actually. I can hear footsteps. Oh, there's this one Muppet down there. Okay, that's okay. Let's go get that drop on the way through. Uh, that one, let's mark it on the map. Where is it? It's... 
Over there. Yep, just over there somewhere. That's fine. Let's quickly go grab that one. And then we can head back to town. We're checking off all the boxes today. Not really like an action-packed episode, but like as a questing episode. It was actually a pretty good one. Plus, we rebuilt our house this morning. Let's not forget, before the day even started, I'd already started kicking goals. All right, supply crate. What have you got for me today? Make sure I'm wearing the right goggles. You've given me lots of dog food lately. A compound crossbow schematic. And a challenge. Oh, dog days are over. I don't want to go kill dogs. They're so bad. They're bad on a good day. Oh, this is like, this is, this, this is testing me, you know? I always talk about how knowledge is important and it's good to have. Compound crossbows are good to sell as well. They're worth quite a bit. It's a book that I haven't read, but it's something to do with a crossbow. One half of my brain is yelling at me to scrap it. No one likes crossbows. Gotta scrap that shit. The other half of my brain is saying it's knowledge and you can sell it for good stuff. Maybe it's got to be worth it. I think, oh, all right, let, you know what? Let's, oh, shit, let's punch the microphone. Let's just, let's read it. How much is a compound uh, bow, compound crossbow going to take from me? Uh, I mean, I have lots of uh, bow parts. Forged steel, it's only a level one. Maybe I'll just make them just to scrap them. The ultimate fuck you to crossbows. Maybe I'll just do that. Can I only make a tier one? Probably not going to be worth it. I'm not going to invest all the points into my archery skill to be able to make that into a tier five and go sell them end on end on end and make a whole bunch of dollar redos. That ain't worth it for me. I ain't buying that shit. Instead, I'll just head on home and forget that I ever read that bloody book. Back home again. Let's take the rear entrance just because it's closer. Like, I'm with the driving all the way around to the front. Take it nice and slow because we don't want to do any damage coming through there. Up and over past the entertaining area and park our bike. Ready to go for the next adventure tomorrow morning. Do you have anything inside you? No, you don't. Let's load you up with your gasoline. Whew, what an adventure that was. Came back with a lot of extra stuff. Uh, what do I need to make? I don't need that one. What do I need to make the learn of the elixir again? Because the next horde ride's coming up and this could actually be a pretty big benefit to me. So I've got three dog foods. I needed two. Red tea, bottle acid, and a frothing. I've got most of that stuff inside. I could probably just crank one out right here, right now. Uh, red tea, where are you? You're in here somewhere. Get some of you. Uh, and a bottle bottle of acid is for some reason in my food container anyway. All right, cool. That makes a whole lot of sense. Not really. All right, here we go. Le le no, that's not how you spell it. I need to learn, apparently. Learn an elixir. Uh, you're going to take five seconds to cook. That's it. All right. It's costing me a frothy, but it might well be worth it. I'll quickly bang out one of those. Easy as that. I think that's actually the second one I've got now. I think I had another one in the box over here as well. Did I have one in here? Let's go like this and see if it stacks. No, it didn't stack. Okay, it just went there. That's fine. All right, cool. Got some Vegemite sandwiches, which we all know is the maximum of sandwiches. Uh, is there anything else I need in here? Not really. I think we are pretty good to go. Let's stack all the rest of that nonsense in there too. I have so much food. This is the thing. I'm carrying hundreds and hundreds of raw meats. I don't need it because I have so much canned food. I've never actually thought to myself, oh, I better go cook that up because I've never actually been that hungry. All my inventory stuff is sorted and away. We're all good. Oh, I, 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 apparently leaving the headlight on, on the motorcycle drains the gas lane. I don't know that for sure. That's what people are telling me in the comments. So I'll turn it off just for now, just to be safe and sure. You're still burning away nicely. Let's actually get you making myself a whole bunch more. How much more force steel can I make? 142? Sure. Why not? Let's get that one cracking. How are we looking in here? Lots going in there too. I'm, uh, I'm looking pretty okay, I think, coming into the next hordes. Could make it a nice big stack of froths. I, I don't really feel worried about my survival chances. And that's when it gets it. You know, I'm coming into this feeling like I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm fully outkitted in a steel uh, set of armor. What could possibly go wrong? And that's the moment that a zombie pelican comes up behind you and pulls out your stomach out of the place you probably would want to get pulled out of. Not that there's any, like, good option there, but there's definitely a worse one. Well, there you go, guys. That is the end of another day of the Fists Only Challenge. We're doing pretty well. We're coming into day 34, though, which means there's only one more day of actual preparation, and then it's Horde Day. I mean, Horde Day, you still have the full, like, you know, 22 hours to get something done. But maybe we need to go out there and start reinforcing, or at least have a backup plan for when sh uh, shit goes south. I mean, I've been fighting cops recently and radios, which means tomorrow night is going to be a whole different kettle of fish. I wouldn't be surprised if a demo boy shows up late on tomorrow uh, not tomorrow night, the night after tomorrow night. So things are about to get pretty serious. I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do for that. But I think tomorrow I'll see if I can go and punch out this tier 5 fetch and clear, which is... Oh, it's that one. It's a factory. It's a whole factory quest, which isn't so bad, I suppose. I mean, I've done them before. I kind of know the layout, but that's uh, that's a big bag of sausages, that one. I've also got the um, that dog quest just next to it that I can do as well. So I might go warm up by punching some canines and then go remove the canines from a couple of zombies in the factory. Fetch and clear. 
It's going to be a big one. Or maybe I'll save that for after Horde. I've got a couple of tier 5s. Maybe if I survive the Horde, the next day I'll go and do the tier 5 fetch and clear. Like, you know, just kind of up that challenge. I'd hate to come like this close to potentially facing a Demolisher on a Horde night and ruin it by dying on a, on a quest. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Okay, well, maybe I'll just go do that one instead. I don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow morning because I'm going to have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.